We continue our series on the history of communities in the North Central Television viewing area. This week, we head to Sumner County and learn about the history of Bethpage. Around 2,000 people call Bethpage home. It's located south of Westmoreland and north of Gallatin in Sumner County. Today, much of this area's rich past is no longer here, but it does have quite the history. I recently sat down with Bethpage Elementary School Principal David Woodard to learn more about the community he calls home. Back in 1805, uh, revival swept this part of the country. The uh, circuit riders were coming down from Kentucky um, to Nashville and Bethpage uh, was the route. And so back in 1805, they started stopping at a place called Mayberry's Meeting House. And that uh, later transformed into the Methodist movement here in Bethpage. Very early uh, meeting house from Nathaniel Parker, uh, whose house is still here. Joe Carter lives in it right down the road. Uh, Nathaniel Parker started housing these meetings in his house. And from that, uh, he deeded 1.2 uh, acres uh, right down the road to, to the Methodist movement. And uh, Nathaniel's buried right down there in the cemetery, uh, a distant cousin of mine, I'm glad to say. And that, Nathaniel's wife, who passed early, was named Elizabeth Page. And from that, uh, Nathaniel uh, named this community Beth Page in honor of his uh, deceased wife. And that name stuck. Before that, there was a rich uh, doctor that also did some preaching, Hannah. A lot, some of the earliest maps called it this community Hannah, but after uh, about 1819, it became Beth Page. Beth Page grew quickly from the meeting places the, due to the, the train track. The train track would come from, uh, from Nashville to Louisville, and we got a lot of uh, nor notoriety from that. Thomas Jefferson would, would ride that train on occasion, spent the night in Rockhouse Hollow. There was supposed to be an inn there. I haven't found that yet, but um, it, was, it was a busy place. Uh, we quickly outgrew that meeting house. They built the cemetery about 1850, and um, they built three different churches on that grounds. And, and, and f let's see here, in, in 1899, uh, there were so many people here. Uh, there was an old Bethpage, and a new, uh, uptown Bethpage, and a downtown Bethpage. Around the meeting house, so that was uptown Bethpage. And there was a normal college built to train teachers. That building, uh, it only, they only trained teachers for two years. And, and after that, the Methodists bought that building. That became the new uh, meeting place. And then the Sumner County Board of Education bought that building. That became Bethpage High School from grades one through eight. Um, that was our school, and it's now where the old Bethpage Chapel is. Uh, that that was there and um, in 1941 that the old building was torn down and the new uh, brick church was built Bethpage United Methodist Church built built there and they um, stayed there uh, um, the high school moved over here uh, where this current building is so Bethpage uh, built that building in 19 41. Um, they still called it Bethpage High School. Um, and usually after eighth grade, uh, they would catch a bus going to Gallatin. Most people uh, had to finish their education up in Gallatin from here. That is the time where we had many uh, a grist mill, uh, a water mill. Uh, the train depot was in downtown Bethpage uh, at Joe Carter's uh, sod farm now. Um, there was a doctor's office right over here uh, next to the church, post office, uh, several, uh, ho two hotels. Um, the, the train brought a lot of, of people. Mm -hmm. um, somewhere around in 1950, the train stopped. The train stopped moving. It, it was going up to Scottsville. It stopped. Uh, and so Bethpage began to look a lot different. The buildings uh, started running down. People moved away and Bethpage became a small place, much like it is here today. 
So I uh, would like to go back in time and see those old buildings and see what it have been like. So um, the revival, that's really what put Bethpage on the map. The meeting houses brought a lot of people here. It was uh, tough. The geography, you know, when, during the Civil War, people didn't know whose side to be on. Uh, you would have the Confederates coming through, uh, which is why Rhodes Fork Road got its name, where I live. They would steal the horses from the Union, run them up Rhodes Fork Road to Kentucky, um, which is Rogues Fort got its name, but uh, it, it was a hard time. Uh, the unions, one day you would be for the unions so you wouldn't be killed, next day you'd be for the Confederates so you wouldn't be killed. And um, if you look at the old gra graveyard down the road, you'll see uh, that a lot of people died in that area. Also, that was when smallpox hit uh, a little bit after the Civil War. It was a hard time in Bethpage. But uh, it was a bustling place. I would have loved to have seen it. Very sad. When they tore down um, the, the best United Methodist Church, in my opinion, uh, which is down the road next to the old cemetery, was beautiful. It only stayed in, uh, they only kept it for about 30 years. Uh, the stained glass windows, there's one left. Uh, the rest of them got destroyed when they tore it down. Some people say they threw them in the creek. Uh, there's one left in Joe Carter's house, which is, was Nathaniel Parker's house. Uh, so um, Joe's taking good care of that one last stained glass window. And uh, now Joe's the son of Babe Ruth Carter. Babe Ruth Carter, uh, some people remember, uh, was a very influential citizen, started the citizen, senior citizen group in Galton. So um, she's probably kin to Nathaniel Parker some way. When this building was built in 1999, 1991, uh, it came close to being torn down and not rebuilt. Uh, the county commissioners, Rita Gwaltney was the leader of that uh, at that time, of, of our county commissioner, and she fought to not only save the school, but to have the new school built. And this school building was built in 1992, and um, everyone's proud of that today. We offer this to, to uh, be a hub of our community, and that's it is still today. And uh, parents still love the small school feeling, and uh, we're still a small school. And who knows what Beth Page will do in the future, but that's how I like it. The elementary school here continues to be a bright light of service in this community. The Beth Page Post Office is still open for business, as are a few other businesses in the community as well. But for the most part, this part of Sumner County remains rural. That's probably the way folks who live here like it. Reporting from Bethpage, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.